Disney movies. Disney movies. What does Disney movies have to do with a lamp? Well, Disney has a company named Pixar, and Pixar's little logo thing is a little bouncing lamp. Boing, boing, boing. This isn't exactly the same type of lamp, but when I saw the lamp, I was reminded very much of the Disney Pixar logo. Disney is not paying me to mention them on Jack the Scrapper, despite how much awesome publicity they're getting. But this week, on Jack the Scrapper Show, we are scrapping a lamp! since the light bulb was the use of the light bulb and I believe I think in history before the light bulb was actually invented I'm pretty sure he would have had to invent a lamp or something to charge the light bulbs tungsten so that electrons could flow through and illuminate what he was trying to illuminate it's quite possible that the lamp was invented before the light bulb isn't that mind-boggling? It's like the chicken or the egg. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I know exactly what came first. It was the chicken, because the egg had to calcify in the uterus of a chicken. And in order for there to be an egg, it had to have been in the uterus of a chicken. That's how the egg itself was formed. Where did the chicken come from? That's the question. Anyway, I'm going to cut the plug off of this because it's a lamp, and it uses electricity. It's always nice when things are hit with a blunt object. Has anyone ever noticed that? It's always nice to, to have things already been smashed with a blunt object before you take them apart. It loosens screws, it breaks rivets, it takes apart spot welds. I mean, all you really need to take this apart now is a pair of wire cutters. Clip. Oh yeah! Ah! Don't forget the brass bearing plug. Yep, that's a brass bearing plug. I need to go make sure that gets put in the brass bearing plug bin. Number two insulated wire. If you don't know what number two insulated wire is, it's copper wire. That's insulated. And it's heavy insulation. It's copper wire, man. Quit asking. Let's take this lamp apart. Oh, look. I think there's aluminum in here. Well, these are a pretty handy tool. What's in the bottom? different. This is really heavy and I was kind of wondering why this feels heavier than normally if there's like a rock or a piece of steel in the bottom of like a bin. There is a piece of concrete here and it's heavier than normal. Having smashed it and hitting it with a baseball bat I just found something I didn't know was there. Let me grab a magnet. Yeah, well, it's a good thing I keep my magnets there, isn't it? Look at that. Look at this. This is steel reinforced concrete. I thought it was going to be heavier. So basically, the piece of concrete inside has got steel in it. That's not like a regular rock. Make sure this is like... Look, magnet sticks. Isn't that incredible? This doesn't go in your garbage anymore because there's steel inside of it. This goes with your appliances and your white shred. Oh yeah, saving money every day. That goes over there. Awesome. Man, you learn something new all the time. That's like the, the concrete in safes, actually. The steel reinforced safes. Yeah. 
That's the best part about leaving your tools out and everywhere. Is that they're always easy to find. You just look around. Oh, there they are. And if you use them enough, you'll know where you put them down every time. Uh-huh. Tin, I'm not digging that out of there. Shred. Hmm. Why is this like that? Huh. What a pain in the butt. I'm gonna put this in a bin. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put it with in a minute. I'm gonna put it in my bin with this stuff because it's basically the same idea. It's aluminum on the outside and then copper wire on the inside. I'm not fishing this stuff out. Look, a nice little, like, plug. I'm gonna cut that plug off. See, and we take this cutters and then we cut into this and then, look. Look, now we've got a perfectly good plug for something that I'll never end up using for anything. I don't know what my scrapyard's gonna say, but if there's any arguments, it's basically the same thing. There is a flexible aluminum shell around copper wire that's insulated. So I'm gonna throw this stuff in the same spot. You know? Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, bye.